glad to see you here. I'm drinking from my Passion Potion wine glass. I got this on my honeymoon. Good wine glass. I just wanted to say welcome to our painting of Old Fashioned Christmas. And I had a lot of fun with this one. It's a little more detailed, lots of little steps, but if you love it, you will be so motivated to paint it because it's really pretty when you're finished. So cheers to you and hoping you have a great day and um, that it's gonna snow soon. <gasps> you're gonna be mad at me for saying that, but I like the snow. A uh, blanket of white and Christmas lights will go a long way for me to relieve those COVID blues. I don't know about you. So let's have an old fashioned Christmas. The stippling <laughs> makes me so thirsty. Cheers.
So I have to tell you, I kind of had to break out the old lady glasses for this painting. What do you think? I can't see anything far away with these on, but uh, they help me with my close-up work. I don't typically wear them for most paintings. This also helps me not really care. <laughs> so, moral of the story, drink more of this. So you'll notice with these trees, the fan brush is fantastic. <sighs> I know, I'm not really that punny, huh? but I try. Um, no, it's seriously, it's the easiest, fastest way to make an evergreen tree when you're painting that there ever was. You have to get one if you don't have one. But if you don't have it, a filbert is the next best thing. The rounded edge brushes. Square edge. You don't have either of those. Mama or baby can work, but you have to tap and you have to tap a lot and you have to like be mindful of where the branches are kind of the needles are kind of going in the twigs and it's a little harder to make it look quite real. The fan just kind of has that and you just kind of go in an arc. It's wonderful. So you gotta try that. So that lamppost, it will drive you to drink. I actually was painting on a fairly small canvas for me, so the details were really fine. But the main thing that really messed it up was because there was a bluish background and then I was trying to put yellow-ish glow of the light on top of that, I ended up with greens and grays and really blechy, not very bright colors, and when you're creating light, literally from a light, <laughs> yeah, you have to have a bright color. You can't have a mushy color. So what we did, we had to start over. So I just painted a white halo where that light was on top of it, let that dry, added some yellow, and even outside the white halo, I put a few rings of yellow just for a dramatic effect and then repainted the lamp um, with, you know, all the little details and such. And it looked so much better after that. But that was like the third time attempting to make that light look like light. And it was driving me crazy. I have painted realistically, but not a ton. Abstract is much more my bent than realism. Um, although I have to say I'm getting to like realism better and a lot of my um, viewers really like when I do realistic paintings. So I'm doing this one for you guys. Cheers.
<laughs> Hi, so I hope you guys enjoyed painting Old Fashioned Christmas. And um, it turned out really beautifully, I think. But yes, it uh, took a little bit of work. But if you stick with it and you give it your all, um, it might, might take you in a few sittings because this one's a bit more detailed, but it is so worth it. It's so pretty. And absolutely, please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to paint, if you have any requests, or if you have any questions about this painting or any of my paintings, please connect with me, social media, message me. I will get back to you, I promise. And it's been a wonderful November, but December's coming. I like Christmas. I hope you do too. Anyway, we will talk soon. Bye now.